so right. Travelled the land far and wide until I found my dream job sitting in my little nest. Here I have it. <laughs> charity shops I can never imagine going in them. I mean like being dragged in them by your mum and you sitting there really bored, having your cheeks pinched by old people. I mean it's not exactly appealing is it? Um, and I honestly, I can't say what actually made me start volunteering. I just walked in there and asked to start volunteering and I absolutely loved it. I mean, I was 15. There was no one there my age, but I became such good friends with them. I loved them. I felt part of a family. You get on really well with some of your volunteers, don't you? Yeah, I mean, at first you think, oh no, what are they going to be like? But then you get to know them. And then suddenly, like, you become best friends with them. Jo was really nice, she really helped me. She sort of sent, sent me around and showed me things, so it's really good. I like working with Jo. I think she's an excellent person, a really good manager. Um, a bit spiky, which I like. I think she's very friendly and she doesn't put any pressure on you and you want to come and work here every week. I think, in a way, because I'm so grateful for the help um, and, like, Whereas Jackie, for instance, you know, she comes in every single day and I couldn't be, like, any more grateful towards her. And I think I'm actually welling up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I think I'm going to cry. How sad is that? That's so sad. I know. It's just like... Because, you know, these people, they're giving up their free time. They really don't have to help you at all. Like, especially when I didn't have an assistant, like, a lot of them would come in extra hours, like, and they'd cancel all of their plans for it. Um, I had one girl cancel her work experience just so she could help me out. And it's just like, you know, they don't have to do that. They're only volunteers at the end of the day. And I think I'm going to probably go. Yeah? Do you want me to stop it? I don't mind. No, I think I'm going to be okay. Okay. I'm just soppy. Um, <laughs> so that's one of the best things. Making new friends as well. And seeing the volunteers bond as well. I mean, because when you have like 47 people working together, and they don't even know each other, because they don't come in on the same days. There's nothing that I don't like about my job. Um, apart from the fact that people don't take charity shops seriously sometimes and then like, you get really arty customers. It's really disheartening when you get a horrible customer come in who thinks that they should get these items for free why should they get those items for free? You know, people are giving them to charity for a reason, so they can make money. Why do people treat charity shops that way, do you reckon? Because at the end of the day, it is second-hand clothing, but we've taken the time to go through each individual item to make sure that it's fine for selling. People think that they can get away with a lot more I mean, I must admit, charity shops are a lot more vulnerable than normal retail. Obviously, we don't have the security. We usually only have one member of staff on the shop floor. A lot of the time, the clothes will be second-hand, but to, like, a very high standard. Um, also, you get a lot of shoplifters as well and people being abusive to you, you get 
drunk people in constantly, people swearing at you as well, and yeah. It's got a lot to deal with on a daily basis. It's stressful sometimes, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is a charity shop and we do cater for everyone. I'm definitely going to stay in this shop for a few years just so I can get the experience and you know I, I could not imagine leaving all of my volunteers at the moment. Um, it'll basically be like losing a family. In the future I do actually want to start up my own charity for bereaved children because I found that when my mum actually died when I was 15 years old, there just there wasn't enough care and support for teenagers and I want to make sure that they do have someone to come to. What kind of support would you offer them? Um, someone to talk to, also someone to hang out with, like completely unrelated to like the family or anything like that. Just someone to be there for them.